Hey guys, <clears throat> sorry if you can uh, not hear me too well. I've been sick for a while, and that's also why I haven't been uh, doing much lately with uh, videos or anything like that. Uh, my voice has been gone for a good while, and just now getting to the point where someone can actually hear me. Anyway, uh, this is a somewhat older battle with uh, Mike Deck, and um, it's supposed to be a standard OU battle, but he bought a, a bunch of uh, flying bug Pokemon, uh, with the exception of one grass. Um, so I felt kind of bad, but, you know, I, yeah, he knew what he was supposed to bring, so, yeah. It's all good, though. Um, I knew he was probably going to go, uh, try and put me to sleep with Butterfree. I figured I'm just going to stay in, because I don't think Butterfree can really do much to me, even if he starts quiver dancing. And was hoping to ride out the, uh, the sleep and all right there, and thankfully I do. I wake up on the next turn, so that was awesome. Killed off with a fire blast. And, uh, yeah, Masquerine comes in, and, yeah, one of those Pokemon you don't know what to do, I... Did get the Intimidate on me, but you know what? I'm just going to go for Stone Edge anyway. It hits and would have killed, but it has to Focus Dash as well. And me not expecting Ice Beam on this thing, I just lost Mint. So that, yeah, kind of blew away. Um, Send in Seismitoad, which is a somewhat newer poke. And uh, yeah, I didn't think it could do much to Toad here, so just kill off with a Poison Jab. He misses with the Sleep Powder. I figured I was going to fodder this word for... You know, a Pokemon to be put to sleep and actually get a crit on that thing, which I seriously didn't think it even do that much damage. It has like no EVs invested in attack whatsoever. It's mainly there to poison and yeah. Um so anyway, he comes in with a um, moth here and starts quiver dancing. At the time I don't even know what I was doing as far as staying in here uh with him. I guess I was just trying to get a crit or something, I don't know. I so said, this battle was a while ago. Uh, I, I went for Poison Jab there, I think, just to see how much it would do, and it does, like, next to nothing, of course. And, yeah, I still do not know why I'm just letting this guy set up and set up on me at the moment. Maybe I was afraid of switching something in that's more uh, valuable than Toad at the moment, and... Yeah. I seriously don't know. But he's got Roost right there, so I figured, oh, great, I'm, I'm screwed and all, he's... You know, freaking uber strong now, and I got a toad with bumps out to where they can't do jack shit. So, uh, he finally attacks. Uh, I go down to a bug buzz. Now, what do I go into? I go into Gigas here. I guess thinking he wouldn't have anything to uh, take me out with. Hopefully, not a uh, grass move like Giga Drain. If that was uh, one from uh, uh, an older game where you can get Giga Drain, because mine does, I think. Uh, anyway, uh, I went for Gyro Ball, because either if he uh, stayed in and I lived, or Baton Pass, like he did, I figured, okay, here's a good chance to test it out. It does a lot of damage, but it may have been better to go with Fly, actually, which I do carry that on my, um, on my Ghost Dude there. I don't go lurk. Uh, somewhat of a novelty move, but it has its uses. And, uh... Yeah, I got to take it out with uh, Pit My Crib there, not with the X Scissor, but I got taken out by Moth here again, so yeah. Uh, going to Evire, this is, uh, yeah, my newer one. It actually lives the Wild Charge, which I was a little surprised on. And surprised he uh, didn't fear, like, the uh, Earthquake, but um, I think it's because he didn't want to sacrifice Volcarona. Now, here's where he made a misplay, unfortunately, and we all have done this. He thought he baton passed out to... Uh, Volcarona here, but instead he actually switched. And uh, we didn't figure this part out till later because he was, you know, scratching his head trying to figure out how in the heck I, you know, survived and, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, after he had that boost and all, because, yeah, by rights, if he had passed, I, yeah, that would have been a good game for me. Um, wouldn't have been able to get past that. But sending T Tar here, I was pretty sure I could live a bug bus, and I do. Uh, with decent enough HP, get a Dragon Dance off. Now here is actually where I'm unsure, uh, like what to, what move to use. Because if you use Ice Punch, that's probably not going to kill. I uh, go for Stone Edge, and thankfully it hits. If it missed, yeah, I definitely would have been dead. Um, I do have Super Power, but you know the bugs resist uh, fighting moves, so that was yeah still iffy, even with the Life Warp there. But that was a good game. Um, kind of fun where that he used a bunch of Pokemon you never see. And, yeah, used some originality there. feel kind of bad about that crit on uh, what's the grass Pokemon whose name I always forget. But anyway, good game. See you later.